Hey, Laura, how's it going? Did you get to Phoenix okay? Oh, hey, Kirsten. Yeah, I did. I didn't expect to hear from you so soon. I'm so glad you got to come out and visit me for a whole week, even though it was to get away from Bert. And I wish I didn't have to run to Phoenix for this business trip. Did you get home okay? Um, well, not exactly. Oh no, your flight wasn't delayed, was it? Because I keep hearing all these horror stories. I got out okay, but for a moment I wasn't so sure. No, Laura, I'm, uh... Not exactly home yet, though. What? Why? What's going on? Well, I made it to the airport, just not on the plane. What do you mean? Come on, out with it! Well, I was walking on that walking escalator thing. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, the traveler. The travelator? Yeah, that's what it's called. Really? I've never heard of that. Trust me, I'm a Sky Miles Loyalty Club member. I know what I'm talking about. Okay, okay, I believe you. All right, so what happened already? Well, I was a little bit late for the flight, to be honest. At the bar, I presume? Well, I was a little bit nervous. I I still have no idea why they sell booze in airports, in airports, on the plane. And they wonder why we have such a thing as air rage. And klutzy girls like me tripping over her bag and getting her foot caught in the belt. Oh my god, Kirsten, are you serious? Yeah, I tripped at the end there and my shoelace got caught. It happened so fast. To tell you the truth, I really can't explain it. Well, are you okay? I mean, are you seriously injured? Well, I guess I'm going to be okay. They found the toes. The toes? Yeah, I lost a couple toes. Oh, just a couple. But they were able to reattach them pretty easily. They said it was a clean cut. Well, which foot was it? Which toes were they? The left, and just the pinky and the one next to it. Nothing essential. Oh my god, Kirsten, I left you alone for five minutes and now you're an amputee? Hey, was an amputee. Well, I feel horrible. I just left you and now you're in the hospital? I mean, oh my god. Hey, it isn't your fault I'm a mess and... All's well that toes well, right? All's well that toes well, Kirsten? Huh? Look at your last text. You just said all's well that toes well. Oops. Well, I meant the end, obviously. Are you okay? What? I'm on a lot of pain meds. What do you want from me? Fine, fine. Sorry. Sheesh. Well... Do you want me to come home? I can come straight back. No, you can't. You're the keynote speaker at the conference. What will they do without you? And won't you lose your speaking fee? They'll understand. It's an emergency. Really? Do you think they'll understand? You said those people were buttholes. All right, so maybe they won't. But screw me, my friend needs me. I'll be fine. Believe me, I'm a big girl. I may not be able to walk on a travelator, but I can take care of myself. Well, clearly you can't. I'm fine. The doctors are all very cool, and some aren't even half bad looking. Well, have you called your sister at least? We aren't really talking right now. Oh yeah, I forgot the whole saga of the cashmere sweater. Well, she stole it and then gave it to me as a gift. When I returned the thing, I nearly got arrested. Okay, well, do you at least know how long they're going to keep you there? Well, they want to make sure I'm stable and healed up enough to leave on my own. And do they know that you're in a strange city with no no family and your only friend there is stuck in Phoenix for the next three days? Yeah, they know. I think that's leading into some of their decision making, for good or ill. Well, do you think you'll be in there at least that long? Oh, I don't think I'm going anywhere just yet, believe me. Okay, well, hang tight. Not that you have any other way to hang right now. Hanging. Hey, Kirsten. How are you doing? What do you want, Bert? I told you to leave me alone. I just wanted to check on you, see how you were doing. Well, I'm fine. Thank you for your concern. How's the trip? How's... Laura? What? How did you... How did you know that I went to Colorado to see Laura? Take one guess, sweetheart. But I blocked you on Insta. But you didn't block Jacob or Van. Oh, right. Nice. So they showed you, huh? Of course they did. They're my bros. Right. Great. Bros. So how's Laura? Laura's great. Laura's fine. Laura is none of your business. Well, how would you know if she's just fine considering she's in Phoenix? Wait, how do you know she's in Phoenix? I have my ways. Oh, and what ways are those? Do you care to explain them to me? Just like how I know you guys ate at the Golden Goose the first night you were in town. But nobody posted about that. And yet, I know it. How? Tell me. The Red English seemed like an interesting club. What? Th the Red English? Those guys you two were talking to seemed... interesting. Especially the one that took a shine to you. So you're in town, huh? You followed me to Colorado. You sicko. What is wrong with you? You can't just run off when you have unfinished business. Unfinished business? With who? With me. You know that, Kirsten. You know that you and I aren't done. Oh, I definitely think we're done. We were done the moment you told me what you did. Look, it was a long time ago. When are you going to let me forget it? I don't need to let you do anything, because we're finished. 
Well, my record was expunged. You're the only one that seems to have a problem with it anymore. Yeah, except the guy you paralyzed. It was an accident. Everybody knows it. Oh, sure. No big deal. Boys being boys, right? Well, yes, exactly. Just boys being boys. So boys just push other boys off of bridges? We were all jumping. I told you, there was water below us anyway. And when it was that boy's turn, he wasn't ready yet, and you pushed him. Everyone saw the video. Whatever, he was a little wuss. If he was strong enough, he would have been able to handle the fall. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Well, it does if you were us. If I was what? You know. A man. Ugh, whatever. So what's the big deal? Why did that make you leave me? Because I told you, I can't be with someone who did something like that and feels no remorse. Hey, I feel remorse for it. You feel remorse that you went viral and got sued by the kid's family. Oh well, dad took care of it. All's good now. <laughs> All right, so enough of this. You apparently know where I've been all week somehow. Now what? What do you want? Maybe I want to come visit you. Come visit me? Where? Come on, you know where. What? I went home. If you were really following me, you would have known that, right? Except you didn't go home. Oh, I didn't. No, you didn't. Why not? How could you have, what with missing those toes and all? How do you know that? Because I saw it, of course. I saw the whole thing. The whole thing. I saw you down those three rum and cokes at the Jolly Bar. I saw you tumble over your suitcase. I saw your foot go right into that, that, what you call it? Travelator? A traveler? I'm quite sure. Whatever. In any case, I saw your toes flying over to the Orange Julius. I was the one who asked for a bucket of ice. So you did that? Yes, I... Uh... Took a napkin from the counter and wrapped them up, shoved them in the bottom. Well then, I guess I should say thank you. Well, maybe you can thank me in person. Um, no, that's okay. I am seriously, genuinely, and for the last time, thanking you right now. Oh, is that so? We do not need to meet up ever again, Bert. Do you understand? Well, there's no need for you to do anything when I can just meet up with you where you're at. Where am I? And where might that be? You're at St. Francis Hospital. So you followed the ambulance, huh? Bribed a paramedic? Freak. You'd be surprised how easy it is to find out information. Sometimes all you have to do is ask the right person and they'll tell you. So where are you? Well, that's for me to know and for you to find out. I'm telling them about you right now. I'm telling security. They're going to be on the lookout for you. So don't even think about trying anything. Okie dokie, Kirsten. Be seeing you. Hey, Kirsten. I'm so sorry I haven't gotten any of your messages. What's going on? Oh, Laura, I am so freaked out right now. I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay, what's going on? It's Bert. He's in town. In town? What do you mean in town? In your town. Or my own. I'm currently in. Whatever. He was following us all week. Following us? Yes, he was naming off all the places we went, all the people we were talking to. It was crazy. He's crazy. But Wait, has he shown up at the hospital? No, and I of course told security. Oh good, are they like, guarding you or whatever? I mean, they said they had security outside. What? You mean, they aren't going to have a guard outside your room? I don't know, I, I guess not. Maybe it's not in the budget. Oh jeez. Well, do you want me to come home? I mean, I think this is getting to that level. But you haven't even given your keynote address yet. It's fine, it's no big deal. You need me more, believe me. For what they pay you for those things? Come on, who's going to pay for our trip to Italy then? Okay, fair point, but I just feel so helpless. I'll be fine. He may be crazy, but he's not crazy enough to try to get up here. I mean, I don't think he is. Yeah, but you're forgetting the fact that he followed you to Colorado and then us all around the town. But he'd never try my room. Oh, and why is that? Because he knows I'd be waiting for him, that's why. Hey, you don't even have all of your toes. What are you going to do about him now? I do so have all of my toes, Laura. Stop saying that, it's mean. Well, what are you going to do? I've done all I can do. I told the cops and they didn't care. I guess all I can do is throw my bedpan at him. That might work, especially if it's full. Oh, I'll make sure of it. So the food is good up there? I've never had to stay in that hospital, thankfully. Actually, you know what? It's not bad, really. Hmm, well, maybe I'll try it out sometime if I ever lose any digits in the mall escalator. I recommend the chocolate pudding. So when did you hear from him? When did all of this happen? Last night. And you haven't heard anything from him today? Nope. Okay, well, maybe he's tired of his little stalking games and he'll leave you alone now. I don't think so. He probably thinks I owe him, actually. And 
does that lunatic think you owe him? Well, because he was the one who saved my toes. What? He saved your toes? Yeah, he put them in a bucket of ice from an orange Julius. Well, I guess even a broken clock is right twice a day, I suppose. So he expects you two to get back together now just because he saved your toes? Surely someone would have saved them, wouldn't they have just followed the trails of blood? I would think so. So when are you getting out if they told you yet? Nope, not a word. Have you booked a flight? I'm still on pain meds. I don't trust myself with a credit card. Well, I'm here just another day, okay? Then I'll be back and you won't be by yourself anymore. You'll actually have someone to guard you that cares. Okay, that will be nice, but until then, I have the bedpan. Um, whatever they have you on, save me some. You know, I always wanted to be a doctor. Maybe I should have gone to medical school. What do you think, Kirsten? I thought you'd gone home, Bert. Home? Oh no, I told you, we have unfinished business. Well, maybe you should have gone to medical school. Then you would have known better not to push people off bridges. Everyone has forgiven me, Kirsten. Why can't you? I don't need to forgive you. I don't need to anything, you, Bert. Don't you see? You are nothing to me, less than nothing. I have no idea why we even dated. Because... We're a great couple, of course. Why else? Everyone says so. No, but we are not a great couple. If we were a great couple, you wouldn't be stalking me. You wouldn't be wherever you are right now. Where are you? Some of these doctors here are very handsome, Kirsten. Do you have any of these handsome doctors, I wonder? So you're here. You're here in the hospital. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe not. Well, I would assume that you'd know where you were. Okay, and maybe I do. And are you? Well, yes, I am. I'm in the cafeteria eating a parfait. Great. Way to give me your location, you idiot. Security will be there in about five seconds. So go ahead and call them. I just did. Oh, you... you did? You bet your butt I did. Well then, I'm leaving. How about that? Good idea. But I'm not leaving the hospital. Are you going to check yourself in? I think the psych ward is on the fourth floor. Oh, ha ha. That is so funny. Thought it was pretty funny, actually. Well, what do you know? You never had any sense of humor anyway. I'm not even going to comment on that, Bert. Not even going to touch it. What? Touch what? What do you mean? I'm just saying, in the sense of humor department, you have a long way to go. Carlos Mencia is a genius comedian, and you are not going to convince me otherwise, all right? Fine, fine. I wasn't going to. Not my job. Whatever. You're just a snob. You and that Laura. I never liked her anyway. Well, she never liked you either. Who cares what that idiot thinks? She's back, by the way. She's back? What do you mean she's back? From her trip. Her business trip. She's back. But it's only been a couple of days. Well, when I told her you were stalking me and I had a gruesome accident, she decided to come home. She's in my room right now. But, but I would have seen her. I would have known about it. Well, I'm not so sure about that, Bert. You can't be everywhere at the same time now, can you? No, but I'll tell you where I can be. Up the stairwell, heading to your room right now. Stay away, Bert. I mean it. It didn't have to be this way, Kirsten. All you had to do was love me. Love you? Would you listen to yourself? You're stalking to me, Bert. I don't love stalkers. But I saved your toes. You have to love someone who saved your toes. No, I don't. Who says? What, is it like an unwritten rule that you must love somebody who saves your toes? Yes. Yes, it's an unwritten rule that you must love somebody who saves your toes. Well, if Mussolini saved my toes, it doesn't mean that I'd marry the guy. Here I come, Kirsten. Say hello to my little friend. And mine too. Hey, Kirsten, you doing okay? I'll be at the hospital to pick you up in a couple hours. Just let me unpack. Yep, doing good. I think I'm finally out of that woozy, medicated state. Aw, that's too bad. You sounded like you were having a great time. I was? What do you mean? You know, all that crazy stuff about throwing bedpans at some guy named Bert? Don't you remember? Wait, but... but I did. I did throw my bedpan at Bert. Bert who, silly? Bert, my old boyfriend, Bert. Th the one I came to see you to get away from, Laura. Um, honey... Do you mean my boyfriend, Bert? The one that I moved to Colorado to get away from? Wait, but... I could have sworn. Maybe you hit your head, too. Or maybe it's the medication. The doctor did tell me all of this may cause some confusion. But, wait, but... Followed us. Well, I sure hope not. The last I heard, he's still in jail. You should know it was your testimony that put him there. You're the one who shot the video of him pushing that kid off the bridge, remember now? Oh. Oh my god. On second thought, maybe I don't want what they gave you. I've been trying to forget about Bert for years. I don't need a drug haze to summon him from my subconscious. Um, no. I guess I didn't either. Okay, doll. I'll see you soon. We'll get you packed in on the 1030 flight. And I'm coming with you. Oh, you don't have to do that. Really, Laura. You've done enough. Well, someone needs to push your wheelchair and keep you away from that travelator. You know, hallucination Bert had not heard of that term either. Psh, he wouldn't. 
Kirsten was discharged from the hospital a few hours later and Laura accompanied her on the flight back home. She made a full recovery and decided from then on not to mix drinking with travelers. The real Bert, who is somehow even less charming than the imaginary one, will be eligible for parole in 2025.